Good morning, Voyagers. I wanted to actually create a, a video this morning to show how easy it is to actually run a node on Voy. And once the actual incentivized testnet started to be rewarded for creating blocks. So uh, what we're going to sh show you is uh, there's there's multiple ways to actually run a node. Um, but one of the fastest, easiest ways is to use us a one click node. Austin's one click node. Um, put a lot of really hard work into it. And I really wanted to show you um, what it takes to actually get it done. So let's go ahead and get this uh, started here. So first off, and I'll actually include all of these links in the description uh, so that you can uh, easily click on them to get there. First thing you need to do is you need to download his latest release. Um, as of this recording, it's version 1.2. Uh, this gives the ability to actually run both a Algorand node and a Voy node at the same time, um, which is pretty cool. Um, but you just go ahead and click on this, download it, and you start it. Once you start it, um, it'll look like this. It'll pop up, and it'll it'll start syncing. Now, now one of the things that you'll have to do is go into the settings, which is this little guy down here, to choose which network you want to be on, if Algorand mainnet or Voy. Uh, void test nets and then you set the network if you wanted to create uh, another one you can actually create two and two of these windows pop up and they run side by side um, but once you set that up it starts syncing uh, this time this can actually take some take some time so i already did it ahead of time and it's, uh, the boy test net network network is on block 224,151. but once you are actually done and it's synced you're not actually participating in the network yet what you need to do do first is create a wallet Right now, the fastest, easiest way to actually create a wallet on Voy is using the A wallet. This is actually built by Ludo, who did a great job of building this wallet. It's completely open source and also fully integrated with the Voy as well. So you go to this, you create a new new wallet. I already have one created, and it pops this open. Um, at this point, you create a new account, and then you can create a a basic account. Show this, copy down your, your mnemonic, and boom. Um, start the challenge and f go through the process, and you're good to go. And you have your um, your address. Make sure you write this down, store it in a safe place. This is your mnemonic. Don't show anybody everything of that sort. So um, I've already done that, and my list of accounts go over to... I call this uh, my Voy node one click because I'm starting from scratch, showing you everything. Currently has zero algo. This is in um, Voy, but it, he hasn't updated the the actual currency ticker yet. Um, but you have to make sure you're up in the top right that this says Voy testnet. If it doesn't, you can click on it, go over here, check on the environment, go down to Voy testnet, and you're good to go there. So uh, back to the accounts. And but this has zero, um, zero Voy in it. So you need Voy to be able to participate. One of the things that we are uh, doing to start to seed is you go and you fill out a form here. You put all of your information here, your wall address, what your Discord handle is. Um, do you have an experience? Just fill out all of this form. And this goes into a, a spreadsheet that's, uh, that we see at the foundation, the Voy Foundation, to be able to um, distribute you one Voy. I will do that now, show you the process of that I go through. But so this is the um, address. Go over, and I'm going to then make a new payment to that address. Send one over to it, and make the actual the payment. Okay, now if I go back over to here, you'll see that I have one in it. Um, okay, so next step, go back to your one-click node, and you'll see here that there's an Add Account button. So you click Add Account, disconnect this. Uh, this is what you'll see here. Now it says DFly. DFly doesn't support VoI yet, but it will soon, right, DFly? I hope so. Um, and then you go ahead and click Connect. It pops up the, the DFly um, Wallet Connect link, but you can actually tap this to copy it. So um, I think that works. So once you tap to click, uh, copy, it copies to your um, to your uh, dashboard. Now you go back over to your, your A wallet, and then you can 
then click the Wallet Connect button. Um, you can then initialize the Wallet Connect and connect from clipboard. What this does is it then connects to OS one click node because you copied the, the link. And if I go back now to this, you can see that I am this, this uh, address, the one I just did is now, um, is now actually part of it. So now the next step is to generate keys. This takes, uh, this can take a little bit depending on how fast your computer is. Um, but what this is doing is it's, it's generating the participation keys to participate in the network. Um, it says it takes five minutes. If it does actually take that long, I'll just fast forward to this video at this point. All right, it didn't, didn't take that long, um, but it does take some time. Uh, once you actually uh, do that next step, the next step is as simple as clicking go online. Click a go online, it goes over, it says that you have a, a transaction to sign, sign them all, and then send back to the, the decentralized application. Go back over here, you wait for it, and now we're participating. So congratulations, you went through the entire process. You are set up the actual one-click node. You are now synced up. You are participating with your one, um, one boy. And the only other thing is like once you, if you plan on turning your machine off, you do will have to remember to click go offline because uh, you want to make sure you unregister when you're running nodes. So if you run on this machine that does go off and on um, a bunch, make sure that you go offline before you just turn it off. Now, the other thing I just want to show you is a application or a website that I built. This right here is the VoI proposer, uh, proposer information. So in the last 24 hours, there's been 65 different individuals um, that have uh, that have um, created a proposal. Let me actually refresh this to make sure this is still accurate. Um, and there is. So you can actually sort by number of proposals. You can see who's, who's the... Um, who's done the most um, block proposal so far over here, the average percent on time. This is how, how often they, they are on time with a vote before the vote goes through. Um, and then it's a bunch of extra information, but you can, you can go through here. One of the things that you can do as well is you can go into your uh, NF domains and register your address with a NFT and an in the unverified address uh, area. I made a video about that the other day. Um, but once you do that, you can actually see your NFT here as well. So congratulations on running your node. I hope that was as easy as what I felt it was. And if you have any other questions whatsoever, um, jump in our Discord and the people in the node running uh, forum are very helpful. So have a wonderful rest of your day and um, I appreciate all of you. Thanks.